Our application is looking great, but we need people to be able to find our site no matter what planet they are on. We can do this by adding search engine optimization. Sounds complicated, but don't worry. Nuxt uses view meta so you can easily add meta tags such as title and description to your application. If we look in our Nuxt config, you will see we already have a head tag with a title and some meta, which includes the charset, the viewport, a description with some empty content, and a link to the fav icon, which can be found in the static folder. If we go to our browser and inspect the head tag, you'll see we get the title of Nuxt Mission and a content description which is empty. Let's add a description. For example, a mission to explore the Jamstack using Nuxt. The Nuxt config is at the very top level and the next level down after that is the layout, then the page component. So we can add our metadata to our Nuxt config and it will be available across any page. Or we can add to our layout, which will be available across all the pages that use that layout. Let's copy our title and meta from our Nuxt config file into our layout. And let's change the title so it doesn't use a hyphen. And if we check in our browser, you will see our new title can be seen in the head tag. However, we are now going to get the same title and description across all our pages. We can improve this further by adding meta to our page components. As the slug page is using the API to get its title dynamically, we can also use the title from our API in the head property. But in order to work with dynamic data, we need to use the head as a function and not an object. By using a function, we have access to this and can get our data using this.planet.title. As the API also gives us a description, we can use it in our meta description. Did you notice the HID description? What's that? The HID is the unique identifier. When working with Vue, it is called VMID. In Nuxt, it is called HID. This ensures we don't have duplicate meta content in our page, such as the description from our layout component and our page component. We only want to have one unique description and the HID ensures that. Let's look at our page in the browser. And if we go to Mars, we have our title of Mars and our description. And if we go to another planet, we get that title and description. Cool. Although our title isn't that great. It would be best to also add something like Jamstack Explorers to all of our titles on all of our pages. We can do that using templates. Templates allow us to add what is in the template followed by what our title is. The percent %s will get replaced by our title. We can add this to our Nux config so it is available on all our pages or to our layouts so it is available only to specific layouts. In that way, we can have different title templates for different layouts. Now in our browser, you will see we have our Jamstack Explorers followed by our planet. And on the home page, we have Jamstack Explorers followed by our Nuxt mission title. Nice. We can improve our search engine optimization even further by adding a lang attribute to tell our search engines what language the content is in. We do this using HTML adders. HTML adders will add attributes to our HTML tag. Let's add en for English. And if we inspect our HTML tag, you will see we now have lang set to en. Another thing we can add is the canonical URL. This addresses SEO problems with duplicate content, which can happen when a website is accessible with or without the www prefix in its URL. The canonical URL goes in the link tag of our website. We now have a canonical URL on every page, but it's not correct. 
The canonical URL should be the correct URL for that page and not the URL for the home page. We can add the canonical URL to our slug page and use root params to get the correct URL. And now you will see we have the correct canonical URL on each page. Perfect! As we have already explored the link tag, let's see what else we can do with it. We can add fonts to our application using the link tag. Let's add a Google font by setting the rel to stylesheet and the href to a URL for the Nonito font from Google. We can now use this font anywhere in our application using the font family property with the font name from Google followed by the generic family name, which in this case is sans serif. Let's add it to our planets page. Now all our planets are using the Nonito font and our homepage is using a different font. Nice! We can also use the script tag to add JavaScript to our application. Normally, we would do this by installing a module or using a plugin. But there are times when that isn't possible, such as if we needed to add something like jQuery to our site, for example. We can do this by using the script tag and adding your URL as the source. Now we have added a JS file to our head tag. We are almost there and our marketing team is going to be so happy with this, but there is still one thing left to do. If we want to share our application on social media, then we should add Twitter and Open Graph meta tags. I am going to paste the code directly in our Nux config and then we will walk through it. These are the social meta tags we need to add, so when we share our page, what will be shown is the title and description that we add here as well as a social image. For this example, I have already created a social preview image and added it into the static folder. And that is all that is needed. We can see in our head tag, we now have Twitter and Og tags. Our application is ready to be shared with the world.